Hi there, it's Eric with another dive and adventure. This time I'm at Jones Beach. Lovely Saturday morning. And here's a little picture of Jones Beach and I'm going to go right around to where that dive flag is today. And uh, this is about halfway around. I think I'm at about uh, five metres here. It goes, gets progressively deeper. As you go around the corner, there's a uh, wall that you can follow. I think the maximum depth I got on this dive was about nine metres. And as I was co coming along, just around the corner, came across this rather large set of drop stones in a big hole. Now I'm told by spear fishermen that uh, frequent the area that uh, you see uh, grainer sharks in this hole from time to time. I didn't see any, but maybe they come when I'm just not there. And off in the distance there you can see another wall and I swam over to that. Again, probably at about the eight and a half to nine metres, I saw these round drop stones shaped like eggs. I thought they were quite interesting, haven't seen anything like that underwater before. And as I swam along, you can see there's loads of fish in the water. Ironically enough, they s seem to get behind me most of the time. Often when I turn around, you'll see a whole school of them there. I pop my head up, coming back, and uh, you can see the Bannisters Resort there. And I'm just on the corner. And I swam along a bit and uh, found a good old Wobbegong. I love these little sharks, but I don't get too close to them because uh, when they snap, they snap at lightning speed, so I don't really want to get my toes nibble on. And he goes back in. And there was a uh, banjo shark on the way back to shore. Scared him off and uh, he scared off an eagle ray. See quite a few around here. They're very timid. They don't like it coming anywhere near them. Pretty lucky to get this close actually. So that was my day at Jones Beach. It was about 18 degrees in the water, full sun. And I'm off to my next dive. See you later.